okay ma so next very important concept which we are studying is kirchhoff's laws ma so when you are not able to solve circuits by parallel symmetry or perpendicular symmetry or any other symmetry then you can use the kirchhoff's laws are you able to understand ma if symmetry is not there if you are not able to find out which resistors are in series which are in parallel are you able to understand and there is no symmetry also vere dari lenapudu you have to use the kirchhoff's laws clear so therefore you better make a note of this statement so in which condition we can use kirchhoff's laws ma when there is no symmetry when there is no symmetry okay ma if it is not a wheatstone bridge if it is not a wheatstone bridge okay ma so no series and parallel connection differentiation okay what is the meaning of this one if i am not able to find out which resistors are in series which resistors are in parallel then we have to use the laws which are called as kirchhoff's laws then we use kirchhoff's laws okay ma so kirchhoff was a german scientist ma german scientist who formulated these laws in 1954 so laws are based on law of conservation of charge law of conservation of charge first law second law is based on law of conservation of energy law of conservation of energy are you able to understand ma so these are not a new laws ma but he was able to apply these laws uh, for solving the circuit are you able to understand just law of conservation of charge what is law of conservation of charge total charge always remains a constant clear no law of conservation of energy already we have studied energy cannot be created it cannot be destroyed so based on first law first uh, statement called law of conservation of charge he proposed kirchhoff's kirchhoff's current law okay ma which you can call it as kcl or you can call it as kirchhoff's junction rule also okay ma so this is the first name of the law given by kirchhoff's kirchhoff's junction rule or you can call it as kirchhoff's current law okay ma or kirchhoff's node law also you can call it as many names are there so what is the statement of this one first statement i can write current entering a junction current entering a junction is equal to current leaving a junction okay ma this is called as kirchhoff's junction rule so this is based on law of conservation of charge only no if 10 10 coulombs of charge is entering a point in one second same 10 coulombs should leave also no or otherwise there is some storage in that point which is not possible just like water flow only ma if 2 liters of water is entering a pipe from one cross section then same 2 liters is also leaving that point also no same concept okay so current entering a junction must be equal to current leaving a junction or same statement you can write like this also algebraic sum of algebraic sum of all currents at a junction should be zero at a junction must be zero you can write like this also okay are you able to understand now let us try to understand by taking a simple example ma see for example you take a group of wires okay ma so here if 3 amperes is entering 4 amperes is entering 5 amperes is entering then what is the current in this branch come on chapanda ya so what this is one junction amma what is this point this point is called as a junction junction means the point where many branches they will meet that is called as a junction so what is the statement we have written current entering a junction 
must be equal to current to leaving a junction. How many currents are entering? Ma? 3 amperes, 4 amperes, 5 amperes of current is entering. Then how much current should leave the junction? Same amount of current. So therefore, I value should be how much? 3 plus 4 plus 5. So how much? Ma? 9 plus 2, 12 amperes of current is leaving the junction. That's all. Are you able to understand? This is according to the first statement of Kirchhoff. Okay. Second statement also you can write. What is the second statement? Algebraic sum of all currents at a junction must be equal to zero. What is the meaning of it? Let us see. Okay, ma? So I can say that 3 amperes plus 4 amperes plus 5 amperes plus I amount of current total should be equal to zero. Are you able to understand? 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus I. All the currents at a junction must be equal to how much? Zero. Okay. It means I value is how much? I value is equals to minus 12 amperes. Now can you say what is meant by minus 12? Huh? 3 I have taken plus, 4 I have taken plus, 5 I have taken plus. But I value is minus. What do you understand? It means current which is entering a junction, I have taken them positive values. And current which is leaving the junction has become negative. That is the meaning of this one, no? Have you understood, ma? So therefore, according to sign convention, what I can write? Current entering is given positive charge. Sorry, is given positive sign. Okay? And current leaving. Current leaving is given negative sign. That's it. So, if one direction, if you take positive, second direction must be negative. But if you add all of them, total should be how much? Total should be zero. This is one method of solving. And what is the first method of solving? Current entering must be equal to current leaving. Like this also you can solve. E plus loop minus leave any manakao sraman kunta it line amiru Okay? That's it. Okay, ma? So, this is a question based on Kirchhoff's current rule, ma? So, unknown quantities are I1, I2, I3 and I4. We are supposed to find out this, all four currents in the circuit. Okay? Now, see how we can uh, solve this problem. Ma? First, you take this junction, junction A. Okay, ma? So, at junction A, 15 amperes is entering, no? 8 amperes is leaving. So, therefore, remaining current must be flowing in this direction, no, ma? Are you able to understand? 15 amperes is entering. But 8 amperes is leaving. So if 15 amperes is entering, 15 amperes should leave also. No? But how much current is leaving? Only 8 amperes. What is the remaining current? 7 amperes. So 7 amperes must be the value of I2. Clear? No? So therefore I2 value is how much? 7 amperes. Current entering must be equal to current leaving also. 15 amperes is entering, but leaving is only 8. So remaining current leaving should be 7. So 7, 8. Understood, Dama? Now, you take uh, this point uh, B, junction B, okay, ma? At a junction B, which currents are entering and which currents are leaving, ma? 7 amperes is entering, 3 amperes is also entering. So, what is the total current entering? 10. So, 10 amperes must leave also, no? Okay? So, therefore, I3 value is how much? 10 amperes. I3 value is 10 amperes. Are you able to understand? Okay? Now, which circuit shall I take? Let us take this point, point C. Clear, no? If I take junction C, so in C, which current is entering? Ma? 8 amperes is entering. But 5 amperes is leaving. It means, uh, where is the another 3 amperes? 3 amperes should have been entering this branch. That's all, no? So therefore, correct only, no? 5 plus 3, 8. 8 amperes is leaving. 8 amperes is entering also. So definitely, I can write, I4 value is how much? It is 3 amperes. Understood, no? Now you take a junction uh, D. Let us call this junction, junction D. Okay, ma? Now which current is entering, which current is leaving? 3 amperes is entering, 10 amperes is entering. 13 amperes is entering total. Then what is the current which should be leaving? Current leaving also should be equal to 13 amperes. So therefore, I1 value is 13 amperes. That's all. This is the method of solving. Have you understood? Right. Okay, see ma. So, this is the given circuit ma, and we are supposed to find out if I close this switch, if switch is closed, then uh, how much current will flow through the switch? That is the question. Clear, no? 
So, I will take this junction. What is the potential of this junction? I don't know. So, let us call this junction as at a potential V. Okay. Let us call this point as point A. Okay. Ma? So, let potential let potential at junction A is V. And what is that potential? I don't know. Tell you the other potential. Now, see my here. If I close this switch, what happens? Can you see? If I close this face, so this wire is grounded now here. What is meant by grounded? Grounded means this is at a potential of 0 volts. That is the meaning of this. Okay? So therefore, if a wire is grounded, if a wire is grounded, grounded means just connected to earth, that's all. Then, that end will be at how much potential? That end will be at zero potential already i have discussed this point previously no if you ground anything then what will be the potential of that point zero potential understood no okay now can you say will current flow in this circuit or not in the low current flow out on the how can you say current will it flow in this circuit or not So, when compared to zero potential, 20 is at a higher potential, no? so definitely current will flow like this. And because current can enter into the ground, no problem, current will flow. This behaves like a, uh, what you call, closed circuit only. Okay, ma? Similarly, here it is 5 and here it is 0. Which one is at a higher potential? 5 is at a higher potential, so definitely from here also current will flow to the ground. Are able to understand? And whenever you ground a circuit, it behaves like a closed circuit. So make a note of that point also. What is the next point we can write? Ma? When a circuit is grounded, when a circuit is grounded, it behaves like what? It behaves like closed circuit. It behaves like a closed circuit. Are able to understand? Okay, ma? So, therefore, one thing which I can say is this is the direction of I1. If I consider this current to be I1, this is the direction of I2 and this is the direction of I3. Can I say like this? Okay, ma? So, because 20 is at a higher potential when compared to 0, current starts flowing and enter into 0. Similarly, 5 is at a higher potential when compared to 0, current will flow in this direction and enter into the ground. Current always flows from higher potential to lower potential only, no? Mm. So, therefore, can I write that uh, current entering the junction is how much? I1 plus I2 is the current entering the junction, no? And which is the current which is leaving the junction? I3 is the current which is leaving the junction. Okay? But I values do I know? I values tell, sir. So, according to Ohm's law, I know I is equals to V by R, no? This equation we know, no? What is meant by V here? Potential difference between the two points. Okay. See, my current is flowing in this direction. If current is flowing in this direction, 20 will be at higher potential when compared to V. Correct only? No? Current E Y felt the end meaning. When compared to this point, this point is at a higher potential. Because current always flows from higher potential to lower potential. Okay. Similarly, current is flowing from phi to V, no? Then what do you understand? Again, 5 is at a higher potential when compared to V. It means V value it should be definitely less than 5. V value, V potential should be how much? Definitely less than 5. Otherwise, the current cannot enter. Are you able to understand? So, therefore, I is equal to V by R. No, V is called potential difference. So, what is the potential difference between these two points? So, according to this equation, we will write. Potential difference between these two points is 20 minus V. And what is the resistance present here? 2. This is I1. Are you able to understand, ma? I value, how can I write? Potential difference divided by resistance only, no? Potential difference between these two is 20 minus V. Resistance is 2. So, 20 minus V by 2. Correct, no? I2, I2, how can I write? I2. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, 5 minus V by? By 4. Ah. Uh, is equals to I3. 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 V by 2, na? V minus 0. So, V minus 0 
divided by what is the resistance 2 that's all so if you do this calculation i will get v value no because v is the only unknown quantity we have okay ma so i will take i will do one thing ma take all v values on one side any method you can do okay so 20 minus v by 2 plus 5 minus v by 4 minus v by 2 is equal to 0 lcm how much can i take LCM is uh, 4. So therefore, uh, 40 minus 2V plus 5 minus V uh, minus 2V is equal to 0. Clear number? So therefore, if I further solve this one, how much? 45. 45 minus 4, 5V minus 5V is equal to 0. So therefore, V value is how much? Ma? 45 by 5. 45 by 5? 9 9 I got huh? 45 by 5 is 9 volts once let me check the answer ma. 9 volts is correct ok ma so here actually this is not the direction of current ma. actually current should flow in this direction but whatever it may be according to sign conventions we have taken so no problem ok that's it so potential at point V is how much 9 volts now what is the point he is asking actually if you close the switch then what is the current flowing through the switch now this one how can I solve I have calculated V value no now if I close the switch what is the current which will flow Na? same again same equation I3 value already we have calculated no I3 value is how much V minus 0 divided by 2 potential difference divided by resistance that's all number v value is 9 we have calculated 9 minus 0 divided by 2 is how much 4.5 amperes of current that's it that is my answer have you understood that's it okay ma. <coughs> so in the last class we studied Kirchhoff's current rule number now we are studying Kirchhoff's voltage rule so this is also called as mesh analysis loop analysis also ma okay so just to say that summation of v in a loop is equal to zero that is the meaning of this one what is meant by summation of v is equal to zero hmm? it means total potential supplied should be equal to total potential consumed also this is law of conservation of energy no the energy supply just the energy ni consume kuda chayali. so for example if you take this circuit here who is supplying the potential ma battery is supplying the potential no? and who is consuming the potential resistors are consuming the potential clear no? so therefore I say that potential supplied by battery potential supplied by battery okay ma? is equal to potential consumed by potential consumed by whom potential consumed by resistors this is the meaning of this one no? so somebody should supply potential total potential should be consumed by somebody okay for example if I am supplying let us consider potential is equals to 10 volts and what is meant by potential basic you should not forget ma work done per unit charge clear no potential is nothing but work done only no so battery is doing this much amount of work our battery can do this much amount of work okay out of this uh, 10 volts this resistor consumes 6 volts then remaining potential should be consumed by r to 4 volts understood no? clear number so supply potential if i take plus 10 okay consumed potential is minus 6 here also consumed potential is minus 4 so total will be how much total will be zero that is the meaning of this one okay supply potential if you take positive then consumed potential should be negative only no so summation of total potential should be how much it should be equal to zero in a particular loop in any loop you can take this is always satisfied okay right okay ma. so now see the sign conventions in applying Kirchhoff's uh, voltage rule ma, mesh rule or you can call it as loop rule also okay see so sign conventions are very this point if you understand that is enough ma. so if you are traveling towards higher potential then such potential is taken positive otherwise it is negative that's it very simple concept okay ma. so if you are traveling 
towards higher potential. Such potential you take positive. Otherwise you take it as negative. So for example, if this is a loop, this is a loop only, no? So this is the component which is supplying the potential. These are the components which are consuming the potential. So you can start from any one point. If, for example, if you start from here, so travel throughout the circuit and again reach the same point. So you can travel in clockwise direction or you can travel in anti-clockwise direction. So any direction you can travel, no problem. Are you able to understand? But wherever you start from, again you have to reach the same point. Understood, no man? Hmm. Now see. So, for example, there are four cases. See ma'am. This is a resistor of resistance R1 and uh, current I is entering this resistor. And I am moving in which direction? I am moving in this direction. My movement is in this direction. Now the question is, am I moving towards higher to lower potential or lower to higher potential? Anybody? Huh? Higher to lower. How can you say? Mm. Current always moves from higher potential to lower potential. No? Current It always moves from higher potential to lower potential. That is the direction of current. No? So therefore, here potential, for example, if I call this point as point A and this point as point B. Okay? Definitely one point which I can say is potential at point A is definitely greater than potential at point B. Understood? No? It means I am moving from higher potential to lower potential. So, such potential drop I should take negative. Okay? So, what is the potential drop in this resistor? E resistor low, in the potential drop out on I into R only, no? What is Ohm's law? Ohm's law V is equals to I into R. This is the formula, no? Potential drop. Current entering is I, resistance is R1. So, therefore, potential drop in this particular component is how much? Minus I into R1. Why we are taking negative sign? Because we are moving towards lower potential. Are you able to understand? And what is meant by V here? V means V drop, potential drop in the component. Understood, Nama? Mm. Now, case number two, just opposite uh, statement of this one. Current is moving in this direction, but I am moving in opposite direction. It means I am moving from which point to which point? I am moving from point B to point A. Okay? Which one is at a higher potential? A is at a higher potential, Nama? It means I am moving from lower potential to higher potential. Then uh, such potential drop should be taken positive. Okay, current entering is I, resistance is R. So potential drop is V is equal to I into R. Clear, no? Next, see. Case number three is battery, ma'am. So in the case of battery, so here you need not check what is the direction of current. Here we were checking the direction of current, no? Direction of current was uh, like this, direction of current was like this. Hmm? But in battery, you need not check the direction of current, okay? Just you have to check you are moving in which direction. Okay, now see here. So this is the battery, this is my direction. So I am moving from which potential to which potential? Higher to, huh? higher to lower potential. It means I am moving towards lower potential. No? So what is the potential drop? Potential drop is nothing but drop of this battery. So minus. Understood, no? Similarly, you take the fourth case. Okay, so this is the battery connection. I am moving in this direction. So it means I am moving from lower potential to higher potential. So, rise of potential, no? potential is increasing. Such potential should be taken positive. Understood? No? These are the four sign conventions which you should remember for solving the problems of KVL, Kitsov's voltage law. Okay, see ma. So, for calculating KVL, for doing the problems of KVL, we should have some rules. No? These rules you should remember always. Okay, so see what are the rules. So, for example, if this is the given circuit, ma, so in this circuit, you distribute the current. Distributions may be wrong also. Are you able to understand? Ma? You distribute the currents and the current distributions sh should be according to what? Kirchhoff's current law. Okay. What is Kirchhoff's current law? Current entering a junction should be equal to current leaving a junction. Okay. So, see, for example, how I will distribute, let us consider this is the total current I. Okay. No? So, when this current reaches this node or this junction, this current may divide into I1 and uh, I minus I1. I can write like this, no? Here I can write I2 also. If I write I2, number of unknown quantities will increase. Are you able to understand, ma? Out of this total current, here are the current which I am writing is I1. Here I can write I2 also. But if I write I2, what happens to number of unknown quantities? They will increase. But number of unknown quantities should be always minimum. 
then very easily you can do the calculation okay so if this is i1 this current will be i minus i1 no? okay now same current flows throughout this loop so what is the current flowing i1 and throughout this loop which current will flow i minus i1 current will flow so these two currents again when it enters into this branch i1 plus i minus i1 it will become i only no? are you able to understand no? so we are distributing the current according to what according to kirchhoff's current rule and it may be wrong also my directions of current may not be like this also if directions of current are wrong then what happens i will get negative answer are you able to understand if my directions are wrong i will get negative answer negative answer doesn't mean that my uh, my answer is wrong negative answer represents that my direction of current is in opposite direction okay see for example i value i got minus 5 amperes then what is the meaning of this one can you say i value if i got minus 5 then what is the meaning of it it means that this is the direction of i1 which i have taken no this is not correct actually current is flowing in opposite direction that is the meaning of it okay so if you get negative answer you should not worry you should understand that my direction of current is wrong just you take the opposite of it that should be the current direction clear no hmm. so then what i have to do start from any point in a loop travel throughout the loop and again reach the same point already we have discussed this one no ma for example here how many loops are there can you say in this circuit how many loops are there huh? three loops are there three loops what are the three loops this is one loop no this is one loop for example i start from here travel throughout this loop and again reach the same point one loop second loop this is another loop okay ma for example i start from here travel throughout this circuit and again reach the same point one more loop this is a bigger loop this loop is also present no this total loop when you bypass this uh, what you call connection in between this also becomes a loop no ma so from there you will get another equation are you able to understand but how many equations we have to take how many equations we have to take that is the point which i have written here number of unknown quantities must be equal to number of equations if number of unknown quantities are one one equation is enough number of unknown quantities are two you have to take two equations number of unknown quantities are three you have to take three equations three equations means you require three loops that is the meaning of this one no hmm. that's it okay ma then start from any one point travel throughout the loop and total potential should be how much zero sum of total potentials must be zero because what is the number of consumers same amount of producers also should be there okay that's it so this is the rules of applying kirchhoff's voltage law okay make a note of it the rules are same so this is the given circuit ma what he is asking he is asking to find out current to through the branch bd this is what he is asking okay see ma in which condition we have to apply kvl can you say kvl can be applied in which condition hmm? when you are not able to decide which resistors are in series which resistors are in parallel you cannot decide ee rendu deeniki series lo unnaya parallel lo unnaya can you say <laughs> we cannot say we cannot say whether they are connected in series or whether they are connected in parallel no idea is there any symmetry there is no symmetry is it a wheatstone bridge no so <laughs> when all these conditions are not satisfied then you have to apply the kirchhoff's rules kirchhoff's voltage rule are you able to understand ma inga vere dari edi lenapude idi manam apply cheyali okay ma so we don't have any other option of solving this problem ma then we have to go for K kvl kirchhoff's voltage rule okay so what is the first step we have written what is the first rule distribution, distribution of currents no so from where shall i start this is a bigger battery no ma so i will consider from here i i amount of current is flowing okay so same i, I amount of current will reach here also no next in this branch i1 amount of current may enter and here i minus i1 current will enter this is how i can write now okay ma? out of the total current i1 is entering into this branch remaining current is how much i minus i1 already i said you know you have to distribute the currents such that number of unknown quantities should be minimum are you able to understand ma now see how many unknown quantities are there i is one unknown quantity i1 is another unknown quantity two unknown quantities so if you have two unknown quantities two equations are enough are you able to understand hmm. so therefore i will take this uh, first loop first of all ma let us call it as a b c d loop okay 
I will take loop ABCD. AB DC. AB DC loop I will take. Okay. From where shall I start? I will start from here. Okay, ma. So I will travel in this direction and again reach the same point. Are you able to understand? No, sir. So in traveling from C to A, am I moving towards higher potential or lower potential? C to A, huh? Bolo ji jaldi. Munga to kai kai answer bhi bolo. Ah, why sir? Higher or lower? Ah, higher potential. So plus 15, no? Are you able to understand, ma? Then A to B. Now see A to B very carefully, ma. So I am moving in this direction, but current is entering in opposite direction. What does it mean? If current is entering in opposite direction, what is the meaning of it? Uh, we are moving from lower to higher. Because current always flows in which direction? Current always flows from higher to lower. So potential at point B is higher when compared to potential at point A. Then only current is flowing in this direction. Are you able to understand, Nama? So therefore, this is also a rise of potential. Here also there is a rise of potential. And here what is the potential drop? V is equal to I into R only, no? What is the current, ma? Current is I minus I1. And what is the resistance? Resistance is 6. Understood? Okay. Next, to travel from B to D. So, B to D, am I travelling from higher to lower or lower to higher? Hmm? I am travelling from higher potential to lower potential. Because current always enters from higher to lower. Okay. So, I am travelling towards a rise of potential or a drop of potential. Huh? Rise way to well na, drop way to well na. Potential at point B is VB. Potential at point D is VD. So VB is greater than VD, no ma? Then only current will enter in this direction. This potential should be greater, this potential should be lesser. It means in this, in this resistor, there is some drop of potential, no? So potential is reducing. Arthangaled. Arthamend. Sima. Here potential is 10 volts, for example. Here potential is 6 volts. What happened to 4 volts? 4 volts is consumed by this resistor. It means you are travelling towards lower potential, no? So such potential should be taken negative. Understood, no? So therefore, minus, and what is the current? I1. And what is the resistance? 3. Total should be how much? 0. Now you need not travel from D to C again, because here there is no component, no? Are able to understand, no? So I have completed the circle, and this is the equation which I got. Now simplify this one, okay? Now, can you write equation for this one? Huh? Dean Koki equation, right? Because there are two unknown quantities, no, I require two equations. One equation already I have derived. Derive the second equation, solve both of them, see what is the answer you will get. Come on. Okay. So, plus 15, plus 6i, minus 6i1, minus 3i1 is equal to 0. Okay, ma? So, 6i minus 9i1 is equal to minus 15. Everything is divisible by 3. So, 2i minus 3i1 is equals to minus 5. This is my first equation. Okay. Karoka koji bola so. Dekhte hai tuna kai kai kai. Next, which loop I will take? Let us call these points x, y. So, loop b, x, y, d. This loop I am going to take. So, I will start from D and reach up to D. So, in traveling, I am moving towards higher potential. So, I1 into 3. So, here also I am traveling towards higher potential plus I into 3. Okay, ma? So, here I am traveling towards lower potential minus 30 is equal to 0. Clear? So, therefore, 3I1, everything is divisible by 3, no? So, I1 plus i minus 10 is equal to 0. So, i1 plus i is equal to 10. This is my second equation. Are you able to understand? No? So, I got first equation and I got uh, second equation. Now, just solving these two equations. So, here I have minus 3 i1. Here, what I want? I want i1. No, ma? I better cal cancel uh, i here. So, equation number 2, I will multiply by minus 2. Then what it converts into? Minus 2i1, minus 2i is equal to minus 20. 
okay to this equation i will add first equation so 2i minus 3i1 is equal to minus 5 okay so these two get cancelled minus 5i1 is equals to minus 25 so i1 is equals to 5 amperes of current that is my answer clear okay ma? okay see ma so this is the given circuit ma and we are supposed to find out what is the potential difference between point a and point d clear no here point a is there and here point d is present so in between these two points how can i calculate potential difference let us see okay Sima, for calculating potential difference, first I should calculate what is the potential difference in 3 ohms resistor. No? I should calculate what is the potential difference in 4 ohms resistor. Then only I can calculate because in traveling from A to D, this is the path I have to follow. No? In this path I have to follow. So potential difference at every point I require. Okay. So therefore what I will do, let us see. First of all I will distribute the current. Now. Okay. See here. So let us consider here I1 amount of current is produced by this 10 volts battery. Okay. So this 1 ampere, this I1 current it enters like this. Same I1 current it enters here also. Okay. Now after reaching this point, it is seeing two branches. No? Are you able to understand? This I1 current after reaching up to this uh, junction B, now it has two passages. One is it can enter like this. Another is it can enter like this okay so can i say this i1 is again divided into i2 and i i1 minus i2 like this i can write now hmm? right but we cannot write the reason is that see ma already i discussed you know the amount of current amount of current leaving a battery amount of current leaving a battery must be equal to current entering the battery also are you able to understand ma? so how much amount of current is leaving this uh, 10 volts battery i1 are you able to understand so how much current should enter into this battery i1 only so therefore when current reaches to this point what happens when i1 current reaches to this point what happens it doesn't divide that's it okay if it divides divide in the only it can enter but it cannot return back where there there is no other way for current again to enter into the bat so this i1 current it doesn't divide okay ma? just it travels in this loop and again it enters into the bat that's it are you able to understand and same concept i can write in this second circuit also so let us consider here the amount of current produced is I2. Okay, ma? So same I2 will travel up to here also. Now when it reaches here, it is seeing two branches. Will it divide or not? Huh? If it divides, there is no possibility that current again enters into this 20 volts. So therefore current doesn't divide. Same I2 will again enter into this branch also. Are you able to understand, ma? This is what is happening. Understood, no? First point, what is happening? Okay. Now, calculate I1 and I2 values. How can I calculate I1 and I2 values? Take the loops. So, A, B, X, Y. So, which loop I am taking, ma? first of all? I am taking loop A, B, X, Y. From where shall I start? I will start from X. And again, again I will reach up to X only. So, come on, say. Chapandi. X to Y. I don't know. Battery is there, no? Battery is there, no? So am I moving towards lower potential or higher potential? I am traveling towards higher potential. I am traveling from negative to positive, no? Rise of potential. Rise of potential is how much? 10. Clear, no? Then, I am traveling in this direction, no? So current is also entering in the same direction. It means I am traveling from higher to lower potential. So drop of potential. Minus I1 into 2. Clear, no? Then here also, I am traveling from higher to lower. So therefore, minus I1 into 3, okay? And in between B and X, there is no component. So total should be equal to 0. Clear, no? So therefore, uh, 5 I1 is equal to 10. So I1 is equal to 2 amperes of current. So one answer I got, no? 2 amperes of current, okay? Now see. Now go for the second loop. 
So let us name this loop as loop, which loop? C, P, Q, D. Okay, ma? So I will start from C and I will uh, reach up to C. Okay? So this is the direction of current. No, in between C and P, there is no component, so no problem. But in between P and Q, there is a resistor. And I am traveling towards higher potential, no ma? So plus I2 into 6. Then Q to D, there is a battery. I am traveling towards a lower potential, minus 20. And uh, in between D to C, so what is this current I2? So I am traveling towards higher potential. So plus I2 into 4. Total should be how much? Zero. Are some of sign conventions? Okay, ma? So just to check whether you are traveling towards higher potential or lower potential. If you are traveling towards higher potential, such potential is positive. Otherwise, it is negative. That's it. Okay. So therefore, 10 I2 is equal to 20. So I2 is equal to, this is also 2 amperes. Are you able to understand, Nama? So therefore, I have calculated current in both the loops. Now, let us see how I can calculate a potential difference between A and D. Okay, ma? So what he is asking, so see, listen carefully. So he is asking VA minus VD, Nama? This is what he is asking. No? He is not asking individual potential at A or individual potential at B. He is asking potential difference. That is VA minus VD. Oh, now let us see. So I will start from A. So let the potential at A is VA. So VA. Okay. Now this is the path I have to follow. No? This path. Okay. This path I have to follow. Okay. Now see. So first of all, I should travel from A to B. A to B. Okay, ma? So, am I traveling towards higher potential or lower potential? Hmm? Lower potential only, no? Because current is entering always from higher to lower. So, there is a potential drop. So, it means when compared to point A, point B is at a lower potential. Can I say like that? How can you say? Current is always entered from higher to lower. So, when you compare these two points, definitely this point is at a higher potential, this point is at a Lower potential. Are you able to understand? Ma? So therefore, negative potential. So VA minus. Why I am writing minus? Potential is reducing. No? Potential is reducing. So minus. What is the current? I1 value how much? Ma? 2. So 2 into 3. That's all. No? Potential drop V is equal to I into R only. No? Current is 2. Resistance is 3. So 2 into 3. Clear? No? So I have reached up to point B. Now after reaching point B, first of all, I should cross this battery. No? Battery. So, negative, positive. So, higher to lower or lower to higher? Lower to higher. So, therefore, there is a rise of potential. No? So, if I take this point as point uh, R or point Q, anything. So, can you say B is at a higher potential or Q is at a higher potential? Q is at a higher potential. Because positive terminal is connected to that one, no? That is at a higher potential. So, therefore, a rise of potential. Plus, how much is the rise of potential? 4. Okay? Now, what about this resistor? Now, potential drop will occur in this resistor or not? Hmm? Now, in this resistor, potential will drop or not? If it drops, how much is the drop? First of all, is current entering into this branch? Ma? Asal current enter out on the current enter gonna put drop out on the potential. <laughs> current is not at all entering. No, I1 is flowing in this loop, I2 is flowing in this loop. So, in this branch, there is no current at all. So, if current doesn't flow, resistor cannot consume any potential. Okay, so potential drop in this resistor is how much? Zero because current is not flowing. Okay, so I have reached a point to see no ma? now. I have to move from C to D. Okay? So, higher to lower or lower to higher? Hmm? Higher to lower. So, minus current is I2. I2 value 2. Resistance is 4. Okay, ma? So, from VA, some of the potential I have added, some of the potentials I have removed. And remaining potential will be existing at point D only. No? Are you able to understand, ma? So, to VA, some of the potentials I have added, some of the potentials I have removed. 
So resultant potential will be existing at point D. So you equate all of them to V. Is it clear? This is the method of solving to find out potential difference between two points. Okay, ma? Start from one point. So if potentials are added, you add them. If potentials are removed, you remove them. Finally, you equate the total potential to the final point. What is the final point? Vd. So remaining potential should be existing at Vd. Are you able to understand? That's it. Okay. Now do the calculation. So therefore, Va minus Vd is equals to how much? So 6 plus 8. How much? 14. 14 only, no? 14 volts. That is my answer. So that is the potential difference existing between point A and point D. Huh? Huh? 2, 3 is 6. Avai pote plus 6. 4, 2 is 8. Avai pote plus 8. Huh? Ah, you add zero. That much pana. Yes, yes. So plus 4. So total how much ma? 12, 18. 18 volts. That is our answer. Okay? Right now. So again mistake ma. So see here. Mm. So 14. 14 minus 4 no? Plus 10. Plus 10 volts. Umesh like went AMI pay on them. Okay ma? So this is one shortcut method of solving the circuits ma. But you can use in any circuit, but when simple circuits are there, this method will be very useful for us. Okay? Simple circuits. So what is this method solving circuits with zero potential reference? Okay, what is the meaning of it? So in a circuit, take a point where maximum cells are connected. So many cells can be connected at one point. You know, so for example, so if circuit is like this. Are you able to understand? So therefore, or uh, consider there is a circuit like this. So this is the point where both the cells are connected to and both of them they are connected to negative potential. So such a point you take it as zero volts. Okay. Why I am taking zero volts? Because potential cannot be defined without a reference. Already we have studied. No? You can never define potential without a reference. Okay. For example, Jainti height and ante yor to compare jail, yor to to compare jail. So similarly, potentials also without comparison we cannot estimate. So what I will do, negative potential of the battery or the point where maximum batteries are connected, that point I will consider to be 0 volts. And in relation to 0 volts, I will write the potentials of remaining points. For example, potential of this battery is 10 volts. Potential of this battery is 20 volts. Are you able to understand? Ma? So if I reach this point, then here can you say what will be the potential? Here it is 0. Here what will be the potential? Huh? Here there is a rise of potential. No? Here there is 0. But potential has raised by 10 volts. No? So here potential will be 10 volts. Are you able to understand? Similarly, if you call this point as point P, can you say what is the potential at point P? This is 0, no? So there is a rise of 20. So here potential will be 20 volts. Like this. Understood, no? So you write any one end where maximum cells are connected. There you take potential to be 0. And you write the remaining potentials with reference to 0. Then very easily you can do the calculation. Okay, let us see. So therefore, mark the end of lower potential as 0 and identify the remaining potentials in reference to 0. Then just use Kirchhoff's current rule and solve the circuit. Or instead of doing all this directly, you can apply KVL also and you can do the calculation. Okay, let us do some examples. Okay, ma. So this is the given circuit. Ma. We are supposed to find out how much current will flow in this wire BD. Okay. And what is the method I am trying to use here? Method is by taking zero potential uh, reference. So at the point B here, I will consider potential to be zero. Okay, ma. Where you should consider zero, that is also very important. Okay. So select a suitable point. So this one is connected to negative potential, no? So here I will consider potential to be zero. Okay. Then at point A, what is the potential? 10. Plus 10, minus 10. Plus 10. Why plus 10? Because I'm moving towards higher potential, no? Battery. Positive terminal of the battery is connected to point A. So it means there is a rise of potential. Clear, no? Okay. Then here if it is zero, can you say at point D, what is the potential? Zero only. Why? 
because in between these two points there is no component no there is no rise of potential there is no drop of potential resistor em anna unda led battery em anna unda led mari enduku drop avutundi enduku rise avutundi rise avadu drop kuda avadu okay zero now can you say here what is the potential plus 20 why plus 20 because there is a rise of potential no negative positive okay so i got all the distribution of potentials no ma now see so therefore in branch ad in branch ad if uh, current flowing is i1 can you say how much current is flowing ma from a to d anybody can you say in between a to d how much current is flowing current formula and i ah i is equal to v by r what is the potential difference potential difference anta 10 minus 0 resistance is how much 2 10 by 2 5 amperes of current is flowing that's all no so one current i got are able to understand ma ah. next you take branch cb so here also i have potential difference i have resistor also no then very easily i can calculate what is the current flowing in c to b okay ma so again i is equal to v by r so this current okay whatever it may be so potential difference 20 0 20 minus 0 resistance 5 so how much totally 4 amperes of current that's all no? so therefore in this brand what is the direction of 4 amperes direction of 4 amperes c to b or b to c ah c to b so this is the direction of 4 amperes because this is at higher potential this is at lower potential okay ma so if here current is 4 uh, amperes here what is the current ikkada entu untundi here if current is 4 amperes here what will be the current 4 e kada ya ore ni pass gal enduku anta alochistha unnaru is current getting divided ma current divide avta unda mari so if here is 4 amperes definitely here also current will be 4 only huh? now can you say in this branch what is the current 9 hmm? 1 ampere kada ikkada nunchi 5 out of 5 4 is traveling through this branch then remaining 1 ampere should be flowing in this branch that's all are you able to understand so therefore what is the current flowing between uh, d and b ma it is 1 ampere of current that's it have you understood that's it okay same so again same circuit ma just small change in the circuit previously this was a short circuit no but here a battery is included that's it okay so this is also negative this is also negative i will consider here potential to be zero volts okay here if potential is zero here it is plus 10 okay no? and here also it is plus 10 plus 10 only plus 10 nena plus 10 plus 10 it means current doesn't enter into this branch ma that is the meaning of this one no so here also plus 10 here also plus 10 so therefore potential difference is not there if potential difference is not there but still there is a resistor then current cannot enter so therefore current entering into this branch is how much zero no current will enter into this branch okay now see. so here if it is uh, plus 10 then here what is the potential there is a rise of potential by 20 noma so 10 plus 20 will be how much 30 volts that is the potential at this point are you able to understand here already 10 is there there is a rise of uh, 20 so 10 plus 20 30 now here it is zero so therefore do the calculation so current in what is this point yeah na ee point pair em pair ha nen rub chestunara so let us call this point as point ab okay ma a to b so what is the current flowing i is equal to v by r potential difference is how much potential difference is 30 minus 0 divided by 5 so i is equals to 6 amperes of current clear no ma 6 amperes of current but answer he gave 4 hmm current we got 6 amperes 
करेंट शुड नॉट एंटर इन टू दिस ब्रांच नो सो सेम करेंट ऑफ सिक्स एम्पियर्स शुड फ्लो बट आंसर ही गेव फोर ओके म सो करेक्ट ओनली म वॉट वी हैव डन सो द अमाउंट ऑफ करेंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू बी डी इज इक्वल टू हाउ मच इट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एम्पियर्स ऑफ करेंट वाई इट इज सिक्स एम्पियर्स म सी हियर हियर करेंट फ्लोइंग इज सिक्स एम्पियर्स नो एंड दिस टोटल करेंट शुड एंटर इन टू दिस ब्रांच ओनली दिस ब्रांच करेंट विल नॉट फ्लो वॉट इज द रीजन हियर देर इज नो पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस नो इफ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस इज नॉट देयर करेंट के नॉट एंटर इन टू दिस ब्रांच सो इन दिस ब्रांच इफ करेंट डजेंट एंटर करेंट डजेंट एंटर इन टू दिस ब्रांच ऑल्सो आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड सो देर फॉर वॉट एवर करेंट इज फ्लोइंग बिटवीन ए बी सेम करेंट शुड फ्लो बिटवीन बी डी ऑल्सो दट इज अवर आंसर ओके राइट सो सी दिस क्वेश्चन न सो फाइंड करेंट थ्रू द ब्रांच बी डी ओके सीम अगेन यू डोंट फाइंड रेसिस्टर्स दे आर इन सीरीज और इन पैरल वी डोंट हैव एनी आइडिया सो देर फॉर यू टेक इधर किड्स ऑफ वोल्टेज रूल एंड डू द कैलकुलेशन बट हियर द मेथड विच आई एम अडाप्टिंग इज जीरो पोटेंशियल मेथड ओके मैम सो अट दिस पॉइंट डी फिफ्टीन वोल्ट एंड थर्टी वोल्ट दे आर कनेक्टेड नो सो वॉट आई विल डू ईज ई विल कंसिडर पॉइंट डी टू बी एट जीरो वोल्ट रेफरेंस पॉइंट आई एम टेकिंग एट पॉइंट डी ओके मैम therefore here what is the potential zero here what is the potential zero here what is the potential huh plus 15 here what is the potential plus 30 here what is the potential at point b anybody at point b what is the potential huh we don't know so let us consider x clear now because here there is no battery connection no there is a resistor but how much current is flowing we don't know potential drop depends on current flowing no what is the current flowing i don't know so let us consider this potential to be potential x if i calculate x value then very easily i can do the calculation so what i am supposed to find out find x value okay ma now can you say anybody how can i calculate x value ma any idea how can i calculate x value తర్వాత దేంట్లో వెళ్తున్నాయి వస్తే ఎక్స్ వాల్యూ తెలియదు కదా నాకు హియర్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద పొటెన్షియల్ ఐ డోంట్ నోన సో అట్ పాయింట్ బి వాట్ ఐ కెన్ డూ ఈస్ అట్ పాయింట్ బి అప్లై కేసిఎల్ కేసిఎల్ ఐ కెన్ అప్లై వాట్ ఈస్ కేసిఎల్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ కరెంట్స్ ఎంటరింగ్ షుడ్ బి ఈక్వల్ టు సమ్ ఆఫ్ కరెంట్స్ లివింగ్ బట్ విచ్ కరెంట్ ఈస్ ఎంటరింగ్ విచ్ కరెంట్ ఈస్ లివింగ్ డూ ఐ నో ఐ డోంట్ సో వాట్ ఐ కెన్ డూ ఆల్జిబ్రిక్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ద కరెంట్స్ ఇస్ జీరో దట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో దేర్ నో రెబుల్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ నో వాట్ ఈస్ కేసిఎల్స్ సెకండ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ మా ఆల్జిబ్రిక్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్జిబ్రిక్ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ కరెంట్స్ షుడ్ బి హో మచ్ షుడ్ బి ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో ఐ కెన్ యూస్ దిస్ మెథడ్ ఆల్సో నో నో సి సో లెట్ ఎస్ కన్సిడర్ Uh, all the currents they are leaving the junction for example so consider this is i1 current listen very carefully ma consider this is i2 current and consider this is i3 current okay so if i add i1 plus i2 plus i3 then it should be how much definitely it should be zero no are able to understand because i am taking only net current which is leaving the junction net current is not leaving the junction why because what is the amount of current entering same amount of current is leaving okay so if you add all the currents which are leaving the junction it should be zero or all the currents which are entering the junction then also it should be zero because currents not only they are entering they are leaving also similarly all the currents uh, not only they are leaving they are entering also so if you take all the currents which are leaving they should be zero all the currents which are entering they also should be zero are you able to understand no? that is the meaning of this statement no algebraic sum of all the current should be zero so therefore now can you say what is the current i1 can you say anybody huh here there is some potential no ma if current is moving in this direction it means x is greater than 15 no what is the direction of current i have taken x to 15 it means x is at a higher potential 15 is at a lower potential so what is the potential difference x minus 15 
x minus 15 i is equal to v by r what is the resistance 6 plus ok now what is i2 x minus 30 divided by resistance 3 ah, i3 x minus 0 x minus 0 divided by resistance is 3 total should be how much total should be 0 that's all no? now can't you find out x value once you find out x value, very easily I can calculate current in this branch. That's it. Okay, ma? Now do the calculation. So LCM I will take 6. Okay. So 2x, sorry. x minus 15 plus 2x minus 60 plus 2x. Total should be how much? Total should be equal to 0. Clear, no? So I will do here. Okay, ma? So therefore, uh, x... 3x 5x so 5x is equal to 15 plus 60 75 so x value is 15 volts this is my answer okay x value i have calculated no? x value is 15 now can't i find out uh, current in this branch bd ma? so uh, current in b I is equal to V by R. Potential difference is 15 minus 0 divided by 3. So 5 amperes of current is flowing in the branch of DD. And what is the direction of current? This is the direction of current. Okay? That's it.